Hello, my loves. Okie dokie. I thought I'd have a little nail play now the kitty winks are back at school and college. So today I'm going to be doing uh, a mixture of ombre and colour blocking. Um, I'm using my flexi hand as always. I always get questions about the flexi hand. So yeah, I'll put the link to their website and stuff in the description box. So I'm going in with Diamond Nail Supplies Commando. This system, Diamond Nail Supplies, self levels so beautifully. It's an absolute dream to work with. So I'm blending that back up the nail. I'm gonna do an ombre on this. So I'll lay my darkest color down first. <clears throat> They're very pigmented, so you don't need a ton of product. As you can see, it just, it stays where you put it unless you move it. It doesn't drip or kind of roll off the nail unless you're working really, really, really wet. Sorry about the back of my hand there, beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to leave that to set up once I'm happy with it. I'm just adding a little bit more pigmentation. Feathering it back up again. As you can see, it feathers out beautifully as well. This is like a, uh, a khaki green with, or an olive green really, with a gold shimmer in it. It's stunning. Again, it just really behaves itself. So if you're new and you're quite slow, I work quite slow. Not because I can't work fast. I just really enjoy the process of doing the nails. So I tend to be very slow and kind of, I find it therapeutic. Um, but it's it's good if you if you do work a bit slow because it's not gonna, you're not gonna be chasing the acrylic around. And I know, I don't know when though. I'll try and find out for you, but I know there's a load more colors coming. Just gonna hook that bit off there. Just patting the end there so we keep the shape. Keep brushing back and feathering it back. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, I did a full nail on the pinky, but my arm was over the top of the flexi finger like that. So it was blocking everything, so you couldn't see what I was doing. So I found it was really silly for me to keep that footage in because it would just annoy you. Because I can't see what I'm recording because the phone is above me and I don't have a monitor. So I have to line it up and hope for the best. That's how it works at the moment. I'm trying to change that ready for the salon so that I actually have a rig. Um, I'm going in to do the colour block on this now. I'm using Radiance, which is a super soft pinkish white with little flecks of blue in there but they're so minute they're they're there but they're not there it's like every now and again you'll catch a little glimpse but it doesn't alter the color so the color is a very cool light pinky white and it's stunning and I wanted to do a colour block with something different than a standard nude this to me is a very different color I don't have anything like it at all and I like that I like trying different things <clears throat> so I'm creating the first part of the color block here using my brush to work those sides and get them as straight as I can I will refine with my file I prefer doing it with a brush and a file I'm not as good at doing the cutout with wires or blades I just seem to make mistakes so for now I'm gonna do it this way until I am able to do it another way. I guess I need to practice. If you're curious about what's on my nails, then um, I'll post the link to the video. So we're just literally using the brush to gently refine that and then we'll let that set. Before I let that set, I'm gonna go in and finish the ombre. So I'm putting radiance down again quite a wet bead but as you can see it's very well controlled and then feathering the top of that bead down the nail over the green if there's a bit too much you can just swipe it off and keep blending and as long as your brush is wet the acrylic will move with you 
and then I'll go in with another bead at the cuticle tease that bead around the, the cuticle area with the brush and then feather the, just the top of it down And then because obviously I'm putting a very light colour over a very intense colour, I can see a little bit of shadow in there, so I'm just going to add another bead. A very, very wet bead this time, and just blend that out. And then feather it down. Swipe off the excess, and then feather it back down again. Nice and easy. I was really nervous about ombre in these colours because they are real polar opposites, aren't they? But actually it looked really good. I was, I'm terrified of ombres anyway, but I'm terrified of ombre in darker colours. So I did it to prove to myself that it's not that scary and that you just, just go for it. You know, if something scares you, then you've got to do it more, haven't you? Okie dokie, doing the same on this finger. How are we all getting on with our New Year's resolutions then? Are you doing it? Are you smashing it? What are you up to? I'm in a group on Facebook. Uh, Liz Guild did, uh, like anyone who's trying to lose weight this year, we all kind of chit chat about what we're doing. It's quite helpful. I put way too much on that. <laughs> I was a bit eager. Eager beaver. I'm still in love with that holographic pigment on my thumb. <laughs> Applied another bead there because I felt that it needed building up a little bit more. Oh, there's a hair there. It's like an escaped hair. Stick it to the nail. Get rid of it. And I felt that there was too much of a harsh line there, so I've just put a really little wet wash down just so that I can kind of jumble it up a bit more and so it doesn't look so linear with the ombre. And then before I do the filing on that uh, colour block nail, I'm going to cap these nails. Now, again, my, my stupid arm got in the way, so you don't see a lot of me capping the little finger. I am sorry. I do manage to get some bits in look for you, but it was just an awkward angle. I shall remember that for next time and I won't do it again. And if I do do it again, you have full permission to moan at me. I did get to catch some of it, look. <laughs> I love the clear acrylic from Diamond Nail Supplies. In fact, I need to get some more. I need to put an order in. I need to put an order in. I got a discount code for Diamond Nail Supplies. So you can get a discount. And you can also get a discount from Navy Professional Tools. And you can get a discount from Angel Crystals. So I'll put them all in the description box below. Get yourself kitted out. Learn a bead down. See how well that acrylic behaves. I know I talk about it like it's a child or something, but it does do its it it behaves itself. It's easy. Really, really easy system. So it is perfect for beginners as well. And I swear to this day, and my husband vouches for it, the kids vouch for it, it is the lowest odour monomer that I have used ever. It's the only one I do not get moaned at by for doing it. Because normally I get moaned at really badly for the smell. So I'm filing in that side there and then removing the dust and then I'm going to go in with Commando. 
I'll drain the back of the bead a little bit so it's a bit easier to move around because I work where I load my brush up with monomer I always do um, but as you can see this is really easy to control no problemo Then another bead down and I'll just make sure I blend the two together and then take that up the other side Work in the side of that area there Just using my brush to make sure I get those sides nice and neat Going in with another bead I, I load up when I'm doing colour blocks and I use more product than I need because I know that it's going to go over that line no problem. We're not going to have any areas of over filing because I did squish it right there. <laughs> it literally looks like a mess but do not fear. Yeah I always add loads of product when I'm doing a colour block. And you know, I probably don't need to add that much, but I get a bit carried away. I'm like, oh, better safe than sorry. There goes another five grams of acrylic. <laughs> so I'm gonna file it in again. Do -do 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 -do. Obviously, I've sped this up. Wouldn't it be nice if we could all file that fast? So I'm holding the file right up and I'm pushing against that acrylic line that I've made, not down on the tip. Remove any dust and then go back in with radiance again. I don't know what happened to the light in then. That was strange. It's like a glare on the screen. So if you're seeing a glare, I apologise. Maybe the sun suddenly came through. I do not know. So I'm basically doing the same thing, adding lots of product, making sure I go over the line so that we know we're going to have a crisp line and direct contact and then using my brush to nudge it into shape and create that V shape. I actually had someone on Instagram <laughs> who I don't think she did nails um, but she saw that and she was like oh my god why are you making such a mess on that nail? <laughs> I didn't get upset, I thought it was funny. I'm like, oh bless you. So we're filing that one in. We're just repeating. It's quite repetitive. Remove the dust again, and then go in with my last colour, which is Commando again. Sorry if you can hear my little boy, he's singing, running around with his toys. He's seven. <laughs> just running around in the other room. So yeah, now we've got a complete mess, which is what we want. Time to bring out the e-file and do the most satisfying part of the whole design. So I'm using my Femme Fatale Nails file and my coarse bit from Bliss Planet UK. Sorry, I had a yawn coming on then. It made my voice go weird like Bliss Planet UK. 
So as you can see, we're just removing all that bulk. I mean, if you work with, uh, so a lot of people that work with wire and stuff like that, they tend to get slightly neater lines, I guess. I don't know. I like my lines, I'm happy with them. I think the difference is it's easier to lay down one colour after another and not have to wait for it to be fully set, whereas when I do it this way I have to wait for the first colour to be fully set before I can go in and file. So if you cut it out with wire or uh, craft blade, you can cut it out while the acrylic is still um, curing and setting and go straight in with your next colour so it does speed it up. I'm just not very good at doing it that way. So I'll, I'll take the most of the bulk off with the e-file, but then I will go in with the hand file and refine it. So here I'm going to get those sides down because they've become a little bit bulbous. And then around the cuticle, clean up all that. Yeah, that is the good thing about the flexi finger. You can just sort of nudge it forward a little bit to get behind it. <laughs> and then pop it back up. Shh, it's a secret. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so I'm filing the body of the nail now. And I rotate from left to right so that it kind of curves around. Having good old dust and a look at it, see what I think, and then going back in because I'm not happy yet. And that's what I keep doing until I am happy with the shape. I'll file it, dust it, file it, dust it, look from the side, look at it from the top, look down the barrel and just keep doing that. Okay, now, initially I top coated them all with Diamond Nail Supplies Tack Free Top Coat, which is super glossy. It's a file off top coat. Some top coats are soak off, some are file off. Some people just file them all off, which is pretty much what I do. Um, but I discovered afterwards that I preferred to have this particular nail matte, so I did go back in with my Nail Kami Velvet Matte Top Coat, which is lush. I'm happy with that purchase, very happy. I love these ombres, I was really happy with them. And the back of my arm again, oh look at that, isn't that lovely? Very like ugly mole beauty spot thing on the back of my hand. Spectacular. <laughs> so here I am changing my mind and going in with Nail Kami's Velvet Matte Top Coat. And it, it's a, a no wipe top coat and it does go super velvety and it it, it does have this really nice feel to it. I can't describe it, but it's really nice. And then that is that from me. I will, here's the end video. I was gonna say I will show you the end video, but here it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Tally bye.